Hey, what's up UFC Fight Fans? It's your boy Jay Singh and UFC 249 has totally been changed again. We got uh, a new main event. Tony Ferguson will take on uh, Justin Gagey and uh, Khabib is officially out of the fight. But the good news is that uh, Dana White, he said he found some kind of private island and um, you know he will fly some fighters over there uh, in the upcoming weeks, months. So um, I believe that Tony Ferguson will beat Justin Gagey and um, I think he's going to come out of the fight unharmed. I can see Tony Ferguson stopping Justin Gagey. You know, it'll be a good fight, but um, in the end of the day, you know, Tony Ferguson hasn't lost since 2012 and uh, he's got like a six inch reach advantage on Justin Gagey. So, you know, Justin Gagey, he's going to have some trouble um, getting close to Tony and Tony should be able to pick him apart, you know, from far away punches, kicks. You know, I, I, I see him getting some kind of finish here. Tony Ferguson will probably win this fight by a knockout or submission. And, um, you know, after that, I can see Tony Ferguson quickly fighting Khabib. I don't see Tony Ferguson taking too much damage in this fight. So um, the good news is Dana White, he found some kind of private island. And um, I feel like Tony Ferguson will win this fight. And Dana White will book uh, Tony Ferguson versus Khabib sooner than later. Maybe next month, maybe in two months. And, um, you know, things should work out with uh, the way... Um, the way uh, Dana White has everything set up. And um, I'm going to go ahead and make my next prediction. So I got Tony Ferguson beating Justin Gagey here. The next fight is uh, in the women's strawweight division. We got Jessica taking on Rose. So in the first fight, uh, Jessica, she was able to knock out Rose. Rose went for some kind of submission. And Jessica just outpowered her. She dropped her on her head and just knocked her out. I don't think that's going to happen in this fight. I think Rose is going to be smart. It's a three-round fight. So in a three-round fight, I'm going to have to stick with Rose. I think she will win by points, most likely. And, uh, you know, she's a great striker. So I think uh, this fight's going to be on its feet, mainly. And uh, Rose, she will do enough to uh, win by points. So uh, the third fight is Greg Hardy taking on Jorgen De Castro. You know, these are two guys with a lot of power. And uh, Greg Hardy seems to be the bigger guy. I believe Jorgen De Castro, he won by knockout. He made his UFC debut and he won by knockout in his last fight. But, um, you know, Greg Hardy, this guy is coming off a loss and he has so much power. He's, he's the bigger guy, you know. The guy's like 6'4", probably walks around 300 pounds. You know, I think he's going to be hungry and I can see Greg Hardy getting the quick knockout here, either in the first or uh, second round. You know, he just hits way too hard, so I don't want to bet against him. Especially, um, you know, him coming off a loss. I think he has something to prove here. And, um, you know, somebody's getting knocked out. And I think it's going to be Jorgen De Castro. But either way, if it goes to decision, I'm still going to stick with Greg Hardy. And uh, we'll go to uh, welterweight. So in the welterweight division, we got Vicente taking on Nico Price. So um, Nico Price and uh, Vicente, they both have a lot of knockout wins. Um, you know, Vicente, he, he does have some losses. But most of his losses, they happened early in his career. Like recently, he, he was having a win streak in the UFC. You know, he was knocking a lot of guys out. And uh, Nico Price, he's tough. He's very tough. Like he can get a knockout out of the blue, you know. Like that guy has a lot of power himself. But I'm going to go ahead and go with Vicente. I think Vicente, like um, the wins the win speak, you know. His record speaks for itself. And um, Vicente should be able to pull off a knockout win here. Or probably the fight will go to decision. And uh, yeah, Vicente, uh, I can see him getting the W. So um, last fight will be uh, Jeremy Stevens versus uh, Calvin. So Calvin, he's a tough guy. Like Calvin, um, he's younger and he has a lot of wins, uh, knockouts. You know, he's capable of uh, winning the fight by uh, submission. And I can even see him getting a decision win here against uh, Jeremy Stevens. Jeremy Stevens, he's a legend, don't get me wrong. He's knocked a lot of guys out. But, you know, there comes a time where your body will slow down. And um, I think uh, over the years, Jeremy Stevens himself has taken a lot of damage. And uh, Kelvin, he's a younger fighter. You know, the guy's like maybe in his early 30s. So I see Kelvin winning, you know, either by knockout or points. But uh, Jeremy Stevens, you know, he is a legend. And... Um, I, I expect a good fight. Like, I can see him doing good. But um, for the W, I'm going to stick with Kelvin. And uh, I will do two more predictions. I'm going to do two more predictions here. 
because you know there's two fights on the prelims that I actually uh, I'm excited to uh, watch and uh, one that just got added is uh, Francis versus uh, Rosenstrike so uh, Rosenstrike like he's very dangerous that guy has a lot of power and he has a chin of steel like Alistair Overeem you know he hit him with everything for five rounds Alistair lost that fight like last minute but before getting knocked out he hit him with everything and uh, Rosenstri Ro Rosenstrike, he just took all the punches and he uh, ended up finishing Alistair Overeem like with one punch that just busted his lip and just totally put him out. So uh, Rosenstrike, you know, somebody somebody needs to crack that chin. And I think it's going to be Francis, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I think he's going to get it done. I think he's going to be the one that uh, outpowers Rosenstrike and uh, gets the win. Like I don't want I don't want Rosenstrike to lose or anything like that, but I just think the one to um, crack his chin is gonna be Francis Ngannou. Like you know the heavyweight division has a lot of fighters, but Rosenstrike like he's such a tough dude, you know, to knock him out. You you need the hardest hitter. You need a guy like um, Francis. You need someone like Shane Carwin. You're gonna need somebody that hits very hard, and uh, Francis Ngannou is that guy. Like you know he's got ridiculous power in his hands he's knocked out guys like junior dos santos kane Vlasquez, alistair overeem and he did it with ease you know what i'm saying like as soon as this guy touches you you're out and uh, you know I, I see francis getting the w i see him getting the knockout it's a three round fight so i see the knockout coming in the first or second round if it goes to decision i'm still gonna stick with francis on this one rosen strike like he's he's still a beast you know win or lose he will come back stronger but uh, Francis, right now, I, I think, you know, he's um, he's up there. He's like number one or number two in the heavyweight division, in my opinion. So Francis wins. Middleweight division, we got Ronaldo Souza taking on Uriah Hall. So um, I think that Ronaldo Souza is just going to use his experience to take down Uriah Hall and uh, get a submission win. I think Uriah Hall is very tough on the feet. If this fight's on the feet, you know, Uriah Hall can easily knock out Souza. You know, that guy throws spinning kicks spinning punches like that guy can knock out anybody with any any strike but uh i think souza is going to be smart i think he's going to take uriah hall down and get the submission win so um those are my seven predictions usually i make like five i made six on a card but this time i'm making seven so uh we'll see what happens and uh let me know what you guys think i will get back to you guys after uh the fight card is uh done take care peace